Jessica. It's nice to see you again. Hi, Jason. Very nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Pata. I know this is your first time joining us, but I feel that it's very important for you to hear what Jessica has been through. I would like to thank you both for allowing me to participate in this journey with you. So if you all don't mind, I would like to start this session off with Jessica. And Jessica, if you could speak for the little girl inside of you, how would that little girl tell her story? Who do you think you are to take what was in yours? The innocence I once adored was stripped away by high closed doors. The enemies inside my home. But who would ever listen to me and all the secrets that you made me keep? The rain's on my window pane, darkness surrounding me. But steps outside my door, right now I'm sound asleep. The door it opens slowly, and I can hear it slightly. But I don't move or even look to see who it might be. Someone's next to me, the weight is on my bed. My cover's pulling back, a hand is on my leg. I want to sneak and peek, but I just can't seem to let myself Is my father checking me? I'm nine and I often wet myself I have no options, forgot me to grip to even move Supposed to protect, but abusing me, now I'm so confused So many emotions with his sweat dripping I laid up motionless, hoping this nightmare soon to be over with Holding back cries, my mind is racing, close eyes like I'm not awakened I'd rather die than be in this situation As he leaves, I knew the secret I'd buried and hide But hiding the secret, I just seem to be buried alive who do you think you are to take what was in yours? The innocence I once adored was stripped away by high closed doors. The enemies inside my home, but who would ever listen to me? And all the secrets that you made me keep, and it's tearing me apart. Innocence melt away, was living promiscuous, freely giving myself away. Why would I protect you? Truth I would hide and cover. Would anyone believe me? How could I tell my mother? Confusion turned to sadness. Sadness led to me stressing. Stressing led to the anger. Anger led to depression. Then I was arrested by a truth that would truly free me. The gospel gripped my heart, showed me how the father see me. Biblical counsel and brothers and sisters in my midst helped me endure it. Though it happened, I'd never forget. But I do have a hope. That I do truly know In heaven every memory will be whiter than snow So though I struggle to forgive you I fight cause I must I must forgive you cause I know he's forgiven me much Wow Thank you Jessica For opening up and for sharing that I know that it was so hard For you to return to that dark place But with God's grace We are going to make it through this Now Jason after hearing that, I would like for you to tell Jessica how that makes you feel. It makes me feel helpless. Like as your husband, there's nothing I can do to be there for you. I wish I can just go back to that moment and protect you. But I know I'll never be able to do that. And it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Now, Jessica, how do you feel about Jason? I love Jason. I love him with all my heart. You know what? What I'd like for you to do is Turn to your husband and tell Jason, how do you feel about him? Baby, I love you. I love you so much. You're the best man I know, the way you give selflessly. 
it kills me to know that you're hurting and that I can't fully give myself to you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Now, if it's okay, I'd like to shift the focus to Jason. Jason, sit back. I need you to relax. If you both would take a deep breath. And Jason, close your eyes. And tell Jessica how what you all have been going through, how it has affected you. Helplessness is such a sad feeling. One flesh I feel with my other half's feeling. Second victim, but listen, I feel like I'm the man on the side of the man on her side. It's a difference. Know what it's like to look the love of your life inside of a face and all you're seeing is hopelessness. When a kiss, a touch, a hug, but the most intimate moments just remind her of brokenness. I feel so pushed away. I know that sounds so silly. So I take my feelings and bury them. It ain't about me, really. But it's about me, really. Face it, win that. Pain so deep, I'm starting to think I can taste it. Hurts the more I'm concealing it. Hearing these Christian slogans, nobody knows what I'm dealing with. But I'm hearing this. Look, if you just peep my eyes, you'll see a secret deep inside I can't hide. Touch the other part of me. No, she's not a victim alone. I wish I could erase her tears. But I need someone to try my own. I know this ain't about me, won't make this thing about me But please I hope you're hearing me It's been deep in my heart, I live life in the dark tearing me apart Forgive me, I don't know what's getting into me Mentally, it's the enemy yeah. So many questions you could ask You can't defend the present from the past Seems like nobody understands I can't protect, I'm feeling less than a man Just, just, not just, just as I am There's no way to console her So much distance between us Will we be any closer? I just want what we had Or will we get any closure? I want to stand behind her With so much weight on my shoulders Wait! Who am I to really think that I make it complete? What is a savior who has promised to offer us peace? Jehovah Rapha, life couldn't be any realer. So I interceded by your grace, you would come and heal her and me. Because that's the other part of me. She's not a victim alone. No. I wish I could erase her tears. I do. But I need someone to drive my own. I know this ain't about me. No. Won't make this thing about me. But please, I hope you're hearing me. Jason, I appreciate your honesty. I want you to know that those are perfectly normal feelings and emotions, and it's legitimate for you to feel that way. It's okay for you to feel that way. Now, Jessica, after hearing how Jason feels, can you help him understand how your experience has affected your intimacy as a couple? To, it's hard to explain and it's 
it's even harder to go there because when you touch me, I get confused sometimes because he touched me first. <laughs> and that first touch always comes back and it's so ugly and it ruins your beautiful touch that I love so much. I love you with my soul. I always remember what you did. I can't forget. I can't forget. I can't forget. You guys, this was a really good session. And the reason that I wanted you both here today to share is because I need you to know that you have to walk through this together. And that no matter how difficult the conversations may be, you have to have them together. This is definitely not the end of our journey, but it is a great start to the healing process. And before we close, I would like to share a few points with you. First, I think it's important to tell you, Jessica, that what happened to you is not your fault. And you are not what has been done to you, but what Christ has done for you. Second, abuse introduces a lot of shame. So you have to adopt God's perspective about you and not the enemy's perspective about you. Third, it's important for there to be room in the relationship and in intimacy for no. And Jessica, make sure that you use your nose wisely. And with that being said, I would like to close with a prayer. Father God, gracious and merciful one, we thank you for this session. I thank you for this beautiful couple that's before us. And dear God, I lift them up to you collectively and individually. You know what they stand in need of, and I pray that you bless them greatly. I pray that you heal what is broken and that you bring love and beauty back to their relationship.